Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my craft table and my YouTube channel. So today I am super excited because we are going to make some baby gifts. How fun is that going to be? So let me tell you uh, what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to make some, some sweet little onesies for the sweet baby to be. And these will actually be pretty gender neutral because the parents to be do not want to know the gender of their baby until uh, the actual moment of birth. How sweet is that? We are going to make some of those little, um, those little, uh, yeah, the month rounds, you know, the ones that say one month, two month, etc. And it'll be on a little sign. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and decorate a little gift bag with some adhesive vinyl. So for the most part, I have already weeded the designs for the onesies and for the months. And that way we could keep this video uh, shorter than what it would be if we were weeding all of this on camera. And then I didn't weed the uh, design for the gift bag because this is going to be a layering project and I thought it would be kind of neat to do that on camera. Okay, before we get started, the first thing that you need for this project is, well, first of all, you need some onesies and then you need some little wood rounds and uh, adhesive vinyl for the uh, monthly milestones and I have a ribbon for this sign that we're going to put them on. You will need heat transfer vinyl or you could even do, well, I don't know that I would do infusible ink because these are 100% cotton, but you could do heat transfer vinyl. Um, and then I've got a little gift bag with some more adhesive vinyl. So some tools that you're going to need are the easy press, uh, or a household iron. You need a mat for pressing, some parchment paper or butcher paper. I have a uh, measuring tape. Uh, a weeding tool was, is what's needed for the vinyl, scissors, a brayer, and then definitely need a lint roller for the iron on and I'm going to be using paper transfer tape for the bag because I don't want to tear the bag and then I have a little stack of I have a little stack of some transfer tape scraps for all of the other things. Um, one other thing that I have that I'll be sticking into the gift bag is one of these care instruction pieces and this is just you know information on how to care for the onesies and I'll be sticking that in there as well. This was just done on cardstock and you could make these super cute but I had one of these on hand from a previous project so I thought I would just use the one that's already ready to go. Okay before we get into the actual putting together of crafts let's hop into design space and let me just show you some of the elements so that if you want to recreate this project you absolutely can do this yourself design space, a couple of things that we have going on. Number one, I have pulled up in the templates the um, baby onesies. It's actually called pajamas if you look down here. And you can actually, um, on your um, when you click on your template, you can actually change the, the sizing based on the number of months of the onesie that you're using. You can also change the color. So if you wanted to change the color of the design, you could, and this is really just for visualization purposes. So the three designs that we have today is we're going to have milk, snuggle, nap, and repeat. And this is actually a Beth Adili inspired design. I thought it was so cute when I saw her make one of these for her little one. And then in design space, I found two more designs. One just says tiny human and it will, and by the way, this is the front of the onesie template and this is the back, but you can get the idea. So we'll have tiny human. And then this one, it says made with love, made with lots of love, 
and a little bit of science. And I just thought that was so darling because the mom-to-be is a science teacher friend of mine at the school that I teach at. So I wanted to um, just, uh, to me, that is not only cute, but it is, is a little bit hilarious. And she is she has a great sense of humor. The other uh, project for today is just a gift bag and we're going to do a layering technique using adhesive vinyl so it'll look something similar to this but I didn't have a there's no plaid color so this is kind of the idea behind um, the gift bag and then let me take you over to my other projects so I can pull up the um, monthly milestones. So you go to projects, go to my projects, and okay, month markers. Let me go here to customize. So essentially what I did is I went into shapes and I pulled out a square and I sized it to five by five, changed it to white for visualization purposes. I went into images and I found a pretty little wreath. And to me, this doesn't scream any particular gender. It's very neutral and I just think it's very simplistic. This round disc is also from Shapes. It's just a circle and I shaded it to look a little bit like a piece of wood again for visualization purposes. And then over here, I did have to spend some time to create these. Um, I have two different fonts. I have one uh, font for the month number and then one diff a different font for the word month. And then of course I have plural for the plural months. And what I did is I got it together centered the way I wanted and I went to align and then chose center horizontally. Let me see. I'll show you here. I clicked on both of these items. They are attached by the way so that when they cut out on vinyl it'll cut exactly the way you see them. But I centered them horizontally and then I just pulled each one over to the disc to make sure I liked the size. Once I had all 12 months accounted for, when I went to my make screen, these were all pretty much together toward the top of the mat, and I moved the wreath also to the same mat so I could cut them all out at one time, and it made for quick work. All right, so now let's head back over to the overhead camera and start putting these designs together. So I think the first task that I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, put together the gift bag, mainly because this will take a little bit of um, weeding that needs to happen. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pull off this negative space. Now in this design, it said baby with all of these hearts. And this is like an offset for the other word of baby and the hearts. And I thought it was really sweet. And I, I thought about putting it on white vinyl, but then I didn't want it to sink in. So, you know, it'll look like this here. And then we're going to be sticking these elements on top. But I actually want to put them all on top at one time. Okay, so I'm just going to move that to the side. And here is our word baby. And then what I am going to do is I'm going to weed out these other hearts and I I liked I stayed with the mint theme and I'm just going to use regular transfer tape to put the this uh, element down onto here it'll allow me to use up some scraps which will be just fine let's see 
So I'm super excited. My friend is having her very first baby and she is due in June once we get out for school, I mean out of school for summer. And I'm so excited for her. Um, it has, and I love baby things. So this was a really fun excuse to make some baby things and buy some little sweet baby clothes. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, I think it's up here. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the elements that are on my transfer tape and I'm going to lay them down onto this offset and then burnish them down. Okay. And this way, when, when I go to put all of it down on the gift bag, I can do it all at one time. All right. Oh, so back to my friend. I am so excited for her because, let's see, we don't need quite all of that. It is her first baby and her shower is next week. And in addition to, um, you know, getting like a pack of diapers or some blankets, you know, something that she would want um, from her registry, I thought it would be really fun to make her a personalized gift. And I kind of was thinking about maybe making her like a little um, mom bag but then I started looking at baby things and well you know the baby things took over so there we go okay so that one and these two and I think I definitely think black was a really good choice for this offset. And the white definitely would have just blended in. So I am really excited. We are going to be kicking off summer with a wonderful, fun baby shower. And I can't think of a better way to spend a Saturday. Well, okay, maybe hiking. But there's still a lot of snow up in our in our little elevations, so I thought it would be um a little too early to start hiking. And I'm super excited to attend a baby shower. Okay. So my own sweet baby is playing video games and she is super excited, obviously. So I apologize if you can hear her in the background. All right, so now we're gonna peel up this carrier sheet right here. And we're going to Put this down on this offset. I think I'm going to cut that B, let that hang by itself, I think. And then get these all together. There we go. It's a little bit, not really my font style that I normally go with, but I just thought it was was so cute and a little quirky. And so I thought I would just give it a go. So we got our baby all ready. And now we're going to put this on the bag, but we cannot use um, regular uh, transfer or transfer tape. I'm going to have to use my paper transfer tape because otherwise it will tear up my gift bag and I definitely don't want that to happen. So, and I, 
I really do really like this transfer tape, this paper. It's very handy. And let's see. Well, it'll bug me if it's not straight. So there we go. And I think I'm going to get that down. Perfect. I know that's maybe a, a really weird way to put my transfer tape down, but I just find that it works really well for me to get everything on there. Okay. And then I'm just going to burnish down the design like normal. And do both sides. And I think I'm actually going to cut down some of this because I don't want so much paper. Let me do that really fast. We don't need too much getting on our bag. That would be a little bit of overkill. So I think that's really good there. I'm going to pull off our carrier sheet. Wonderful. Okay, so bring this in. And boy, there's like a little glare right there. Sorry about that. I am going to cover up that glare of lights. All right. And what I like about this design when you look at it is I don't have to necessarily, like I don't want it super wonky, but I don't have to be super, super straight because it, it has an, elements of, an element of whimsy to it. I just want to kind of center it though. And I'm not going to um, burnish the transfer tape part, but I'm going to go over just where the vinyl is. And then I will carefully pull up the transfer tape. And this is a very low tack transfer tape. It's, it's almost like a super light um, masking tape in a way. That's what it kind of makes me think of. But look at that, that looks amazing. That is so cute. And I love the mint is very neutral and I love the plaid. I just think that gives it an element of fun with the font, it's so whimsy. Okay, this is our first craft ready to go. So tell you what, I think it'll be better to go ahead and do the onesies at this point because the Easy Press is now ready. So we have three little onesies. These are a zero to three month. I thought about getting the newborn ones, but I wasn't 100% sure. So, okay. Let me grab my press here. I'm going to lint roll just to make sure there's no lint or anything on the onesie. And now I absolutely could do this with the Easy Press Mini, but I just thought it would be easier to get it all down at one time. Okay, and then one more little wet roll. Perfect. Oh, all right. So let's do this one here that says Tiny Human, and that's about the center. And I'm going to bring it down to about right here. 
and that looks pretty good. I think that looks good. So what I'm going to do just to um, kind of protect the rest of the onesie is I'm going to put this down. There we go. Now you can put a press pillow um, up into the onesie and um, just kind of fill it out. I'm not too worried about it because I'm not going to be pressing these for very long. And if need be, I can always go back and um, press out some of the creases from around the vinyl if I really need to, but I think it'll be okay. Okay, Let's set that aside. Okay, then I'm going to turn it over and I'm just going to do a few seconds. I'm not going to go very long, probably about five, ten seconds. Okay, and then this is going to be a cool peel, so I'm just going to set this one aside while I bring in the next one. These are so cute, y'all. My babies. Well, one is 12 going on 21. He's the loud one in the background that you can probably hear. I apologize for that. But hey, that is, that is real life. And then my... My first baby is 26. He is in the military and we are just super proud of him. I was really worried about him for a while, but he, he finally um, decided to go into the army. He always wanted to do that and then decided to work for a while after high school and then finally went back to fulfill his dream. And my my little one, she wants to be a either a surgeon or an anesthesiologist. So I am absolutely loving that thought. Okay, I'm going to put this one down, but I'm going to, this one here, I'm going to make sure that's a little more. So, okay, that's much better. Oh, this just looks so cute. I love it. And each of these designs, I, I sized them at approximately four, you know, uh, one of the dimensions is, is, is about four inches. So depending, you know, either width or height, depending on, on how the design was um, created. Okay, remove that going to turn this one over as well and just go for a few more seconds. I don't have one of these big easy press, uh, you know, machines. You can use an iron. I used a household iron for a good while when I first started working with Cricut. So definitely something that um, you can just use a household iron and then I ended up getting the little easy press mini, the little handheld one. It was on sale. Uh, I think I got it at Walmart, ironically, and it was on sale. And then I purchased, um, the mug press and the easy, the big easy press for myself because I was really, really, really going to town with these crafts. So if you 
invest in one of these. It is, it is a good investment. And if you can't or don't want to, well, that's okay. Okay. All right. So then here's this one. And I just love this. I love that it pays homage to her profession of being a science teacher. Okay. Oop. So I want to get that off of there. I did see one and it said mom plus dad. And so it was like mom and then dad with a plus sign and a, and a bar. It's like a little math equation. I thought that was super cute. And then I saw the science one and she is a science teacher. Okay. Let's just double check. Yeah, okay. So tell me down in the comments, what are some of your favorite gifts to give to a mom-to-be for when you go to a baby shower or um, maybe you just know the parents. What kind of uh, gifts are your favorite to give to uh, parents for their newborn babies? I think I like, I like blankets and onesies and I really do like to do personalized gifts, but it's a little harder when they decide that they're gonna wait till the birth to figure out what gender. So I think that this is a good creative way to personalize things, but at the same time, honor their decision. Okay. All right, so now let me move the mat out of the way. These should be cool by now. Move that over there. All right, here's the big test. Hopefully we don't have to do any repressing. And of course I speak too soon. All right, so we'll have to repress this particular one. Check the next one. And okay, so I think that little that little tittle there. Oh, I think we're gonna have to repress all of these. I think I will pull out my easy press mini for this one. Okay, hopefully this one is good to go. Okay, well, we are going to Set these aside for just a moment. Get the Easy Press Mini. So let's give this one more go. We're going to make sure we can get all of these tiny, tiny, tiny little pieces to stick where they're supposed to. There's one. So with this, still using some firm pressure, and then the, this is the Easy Press Mini, and it is designed to just move and float over the carrier sheet. Whenever you're using the Easy Press Mini, you can see 
you you can see your vinyl like you can monitor exactly what's happening with it and then with the large easy press um you know sometimes you gotta you gotta repeat the process okay so there's two and this one definitely going to go over all these little bitty places okay and there's three all right one more okay i think that tiny human is really good tiny human is good now when I rub my hand over that T it does not doesn't come out and then we'll be wrapping these in tissue to put them in the to put them in the in the little bag so there's one okay. try this one All right, I think definitely that was a wise choice. Just the one thing wasn't really going the way we wanted it. Okay, so we have milk, snuggle, nap, and repeat. We have tiny human. And next, our little science. Okay. Oh yes, this is this is coming up nicely. Perfect. Okay. Beautiful. These are so cute and I I forget how small babies are. All right, perfect. So now, and I got little fuzzies. Now we can move on to our third and final craft. And that will be um, the month monthly milestones um, little project. Okay. So I just plugged in my uh, glue gun because we are going to, um, this is the five by five square and I just coated it with two coats of chalk paint, uh, white chalk paint, and then um, distressed it just a little bit. And I put one of my stickers on the back because it had a, a stamped um, company you know, logo and all. So I covered that up. And what we're, what we're gonna do at the very end is we're going to put this on the back so that it can then hang on the wall if it likes, or it can go behind and then just lay on the ground. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put this down onto here and I want to use my paper transfer tape again and the reason why I want to do that is because I don't want to pull up the paint okay definitely don't want to pull the paint up so I'm just going to use something low tack We'll burnish the back down and actually I think we'll go this way. Fantastic. 
And then we're just going to put this down on here. And I think what I'm going to do, is I'm going to find the center of the transfer tape part. Okay, so then There we go, so we're here. Oh, got a little piece that needs to go that way. These little vines, they, um, they kind of have a little mind of their own. So here is our little deal like this. Next, we're going to be putting all of these on here. And I think for these, I'm just going to use some transfer tape and I've got a little pile here in case I need more and the one with the grid so this grid right oh I'm off camera sorry so this grid line right here I'm putting it at the bottom of the word months and that will help me when I go to Put this down, keep things straight, as straight as possible. I am very glad that I weeded all of this stuff earlier because this really would have taken forever to do this on camera. There we go. Bring this in. Perfect. Oh, looks like that. And then these will come and sit in here like this. Okay, we're going to just knock these out. Okay, so we have all of these. They look so good. I am so pleased. Okay, and so now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put all this together. I have, first of all, I'm gonna hot glue this on the back of the square. And then we have some Velcro. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make this interchangeable. We are going to put one of these little of the the hard knobby parts. And we're going to put that in the middle. So two and a half, two and a half. Okay, so we're going to put that in the middle like that. And then what I'm going to do 
is that I'm going to put the soft side. Everything is sticking to my fingers today. But I'm going to put that there and then I'm going to center the disc on top and press it down. And the reason is so that when I pick it up, I know that it will sit perfectly center where it needs to go. So there's one. Now we're going to, we've got all of the months, okay? And then what we're going to do is we are going to turn this over and we're going to get this ready for hanging. I think we're gonna do like this. And then that way it can be hung if it if she wants to hang it or not. And then I'll cut and then I will cut off the excess. I really like this glue gun. It is it is cordless. You plug it in and then you unplug it when you no longer need it to be heating up. Okay. So it'll look like that. And then we have all of our months. So how sweet is that? Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the gifts that we have so far. We've got the monthly milestones. Okay. And these are so cute. We, I did not do that when my children were younger. So I'm a little bit jealous about how awesome those are. Okay, and then we have Milk Snuggle Nap and Repeat, Tiny Human, and Made with Lots of Love, and a little bit of science. All of these are going to look so cute, and then we have the sweet baby bag that it will all go in. Okay, well that is it for our baby gifts of the day. I'm hoping that you found this video was uh, informative and helpful and make sure that you like, subscribe, and share this video. Love to have you on board so that you can get all of the fun crafts that we have coming up this summer. And so until I see you the next time, enjoy your day, enjoy the start of a wonderful summer, and until next time, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.